<laughs> can hear that? You probably guess where we are. But this thing is not going to start. It is giving me some sticks, so I think I'm going to have to strip the carb and take it all apart. This is the choke cable. So. 10 mil, and I think it's just a couple of good party drives there. Uh, fuel line, air line, I think that's an overflow. But it just will not tick over. So I'm going to start stripping it, get back to you in a sec. Okay, I'll show you that. So you can't go wrong with that. If any, it fits against that block, and then this sits on top to hold it in place. Okay. And then pull the choke back, if you can see what I'm doing. Lift the cable out. There we go. That's the choke cable. I'm replacing the choke with the, not the choke, I'm replacing the plate so we don't lose it. 10 mil spanner. You can see it runs all the way across. You can see the whole lot turning. Look. Okay, I'm going to get to the other side and actually use the tank. I freed it off with a spanner, half a turn, and that. This is then, so I can get this off. I just want to see what I'm just going to be careful because I've not done one of these before. I don't need to count me that. Count me that. As long as we don't damage the uh, gaskets, we should be all right. Just watching out for washers or anything else. And we've got two washers on these. There we go. Everything put away safe. So put your bits in. Anything will do. <laughs> There's no exit. This egg box. If you've got a bit of wind noise, I can't help it because we are at the coast. Right, so just move him out of the way. Oh, where did he go? What was that? Oh, that's an internal a T, so you have to be careful. They're just two inserts, so I'll put them in the box as well. And then the carbs should just lift away. So we've got an overflow line there, and we've got a fuel line here. And I think, apart from the accelerator, have we got? Yeah, there it is at the back. Let's go and have a look at that. I think now's a good idea to take the tank off. They're all the same size, it's all 10 mil. Right, I'll do and undo this, which you can see. One, two, three. Get back to you in a sec. Okay, that should be the fuel tank loose. I have to check the, where the fuel line is. But put it to one side. There we go. This is a Mercury 3.3, no, 3. Point, is it 3.2? Let's have a look. 3. Point. Mercury 3.5, four stroke. Right, so let's have a look at this. Oh, we've got quite a few bits of, look at this. Cool. So, tilt the card, carb. Oh, sorry, there we go, and that should undo that. We've got two feeder pipes here, so we've got to... Right, let's have a look right along those pliers. Get the main fuel line off. Okay, and these two, I think... Let's remember where they are, take a photograph of them. Oh, I'll show you that. So both go through the bottom of the engine housing so that's what you call it and you've got one on the top of the car there and you got the one the other side so the one on the right goes to the right hand hole and the one on the left goes to the left hand hole okay so left and that one there coming in is on the right so there you go I don't know much about these carbs and who it looks like a jet at the top. But I'm not going to touch that just yet. I'll take the bowl off. I'm going to have a look at it and I'll drain the I'll drain the fuel out of it. There you go, sorry. Yeah, pretty straightforward to get off. Yeah, fuel out. Not much fuel in there. I reckon the float chambers aren't haven't um, seized. I don't really want to do this outside, I'm just showing you for demo purposes. Oh, oh yeah. Monkey. Ooh. Okay. Here comes the fuel. I did one not long ago on a 3.3 and it was 
it stunk god the fuel was bad okay let me take this apart I don't know if you can see that but I think the float needle stuck can you see this not it's not touching the I'll have to, have to take that apart and also that jet doesn't look too good does it look at that so we'll get that out and give it a clean and then we'll have a look at that float because that looks like it, the needle sticking yeah it's not moving down look I don't know if you can see that right in there that little it's difficult to get you. That's supposed to move up and down. I don't know if you can see that, but you can't see anything because it's blocked. I think that's the problem. We've got a blockage, so I'll give that a clean. If I can find something thin enough to poke down here. It looks like the main jet's blocked. Can you see? Okay. Because I haven't got anything here, I'm going to have to use... See that? See if I can get this through. It's definitely, definitely, it's definitely blocked. Oh, we're through, we're through, we're through. Hoo, 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 hoo. Right, sorry. Right, so I'm going to do this and I'll, I'll get back to you in a second. We'll show you if I can get it really clean. Where are we? So there we go. Can you see straight through yet? I'll never look. So Look at that. Straight through. Give it a raz. So we should. And if I can get close enough, sorry. Daylight. Yay! Okay, and that's what I used. Just got a piece of wire we found spare, stranded it, and cut it through, and then that cleaned it. And then I've used the other end as well to actually clean it properly. Woohoo! Look at that. Clean as a whistle. Beautiful. As for the float chamber, if you just get a pair of one of those pliers and just squeeze there, that pulls the pin back. We should be able to pull the pin out, and then we'll have a look at the float chamber. I should have showed you that, but that's that was a bit grimy at the end, so I've just cleaned it. And that could have been sticking, which stops the floats from fully closing. And that's when you'll get flooding. Well, when you tip the engine up, to make sure that tiny little pin retracts up and down. I don't know if I can show you that. There we go. That's fine. So, that. you know what we forgot, don't you? Left and right pipe first. So, picking back off, and here's the right pipe. So, he's got to go in first down the hole down the bottom. A bit fiddly. On. There's no wash, there's no not washers, there's no. Um, clips. Okay, and that bit. what dropped off was a spacer. You can only go on, it shows you which way around it goes on like that. Okay, because it can only go because there's a little dip here. So we'll have to hold that, and then I'll go up onto the bolt. Uh, hold on, no, we can't do that just yet. We'll have to line all this up properly. Is in first, and we'll put the bolts in. Line them up, put the spacer on. That's going to be awkward with that thing now, isn't it? Right, let's give it a go. Right, two seconds. Hold that there. 
looked a bit awkward. But there's things you have to remember to do in the spacer. It's all in. Make sure we haven't dropped anything. No, it's all in. Line them up. And the screwdriver comes in now. I'm not going to tighten up here just yet. I'm just going to go through it. Okay, right. Okay, let's choose the two airlines are on. They're going through the bottom now. Left and right. Put it right there. Fuel lines going back on. Okay. on that's all good one of these things I might change that around so it's the right way around okay choke back. should be enough just to lift it so we put him in first Stay there, you monkey. Okay, let's pinch him down. Spanner. Okay. Not over tightening, just enough so it's just pinching it. Same with the carb, equal if you can, just a little touch each side and then it's a little bit awkward this one here. There we go, you can just get a quarter of a turn on it. So I don't know how you're getting in. Okay. Quarter, quarter of a turn. That's it. That's enough. So before you put it all back together, you know, you mean the lid, make sure everything works, you know, you get choked. Hopefully we've solved the problem. We've put the jet back in, we've cleaned it all. Looks tidy. That. I think it goes in there like that. That's it. And that one goes like that. This one hasn't done that properly, but there you go. Okay, tank on, and we'll give it a test. Might have to give us a test in a bit because it's starting to rain. Might have to put the lid on and come back outside in a bit. I'm sorry, but I've got to be quick with raining. I've run down the fuel line, hopefully fingers crossed. Okay, choke, mission on. There's something wrong with that fuel line, that fuel tap. So it looks like someone's fiddled, fiddled with this fuel tap. Okay. Put a new one on, but haven't fixed it in place. <sighs> okay, let's try again. I've got to put the cover on because it's raining. Right, that should be on. I think someone's put it on. I'm going to fix that tomorrow. Choke. 
Come on, Butte. When she gets a bit warm, she'll be right. Remember I said fuel was off, fuel was on the other way round. Bell, brilliant. Any up and coming videos over here? Oh, well worth it. What a feeling. Take care, catch you in the next video. Bye! It's not choppy, but it's gone a little bit. It was a mill pond a minute ago. Well, 20 minutes ago. Beautifully now, I've cleaned it all up.